Hello, my name is Salo Gonzalez. I'm the director of attending Nando Junior Programs at Elite Sport Club Brookfield. I'm here today to show you some exercises that will help your kid to, do, to have a better, uh, to perform better on the court. All what you need is a tennis racket, some cones, and some tennis balls. So let's go and get it started. On this video, we're going to be talking about the contact point. So there's like two key points that you need to understand on the contact point. First is the body position. You want your kid to be sideways. So I like to put always the target vertical to the kid so the kid have to understand they have to be sideways all the time. And the contact point should be on the side of your body. So step number one, it's a very simple drill. We want the kid to be sideways, use the, the domain hand just nice and easy, and just try to throw the ball over the net, depending of the age if we're talking about kids from five to seven probably can get a kid to get over the net just to have the sense of the net and if we got kids from three uh, to two to five they can do it like without without a net so one more time and going to straight step number one just throwing the ball nice and easy with the palm of your hand of course facing up and as you see I'm throwing the ball on the same eye level high so very easy drill implies a lot of repetition for your kid to get better um, and uh, with this step and then you can move to the st uh, step number two uh, step number two it will be with your racket now we're using the racket and we're moving to the next uh, to the next station would be like here without a net just put your body position sideways you want the kid to be sideways and you want the kid to be able to understand that the contact point should be on the side of, of their body so we just put the ball on the ground we might you might get the kid just to roll the ball nice and easy and probably getting a follow-through I'm not really concerned about the follow-through or the right technique on this drill I'm just concerned about the contact point Another option that you can use is on the back and side. We, we can move uh, your kid in another line, or it could be on the same line. I always try to move in different lines so they can understand the idea of the, of the turn. Um, just put the ball on the left side, hold it with two hands and just get in the contact point on the side and just rolling the ball there. Step number three is the toss and now you hit with your racket and again I'm not focusing too much about the technique and not even the follow through. I want the kid just to uh, understand the idea of the contact point. So it's very simple. We just want to have the bounce on the side of your body. Of course you want to be sideways. Just try to reinforce the sideways position uh, as much as possible and try to get the toss on the side nice and gentle probably on the waist, uh, waist hand so it looks something like this so bounce nice and gentle and tap the ball there we're not looking for the follow-through yet but we're just looking to get a kid understand the idea of the contact point so one more time toss the ball probably on the same waist uh, high level and uh, and in order for the kid to track the ball and to see the ball every single time. You can do it like around 10 or 20 times uh, just to get the idea of the content point should be on the, on the side. Thank you for watching.